So say you're coming back from a black hole time traveling journey, the link is in the description, and you reach the Earth of the seven continents, and... Wait, what? Let's rewind a bit. And take a closer look. This is the far desert region in Ethiopia. It's where the Arabian, Somalian, and Nubian plates all meet, forming a triple junction. This is a divergent boundary, which means that the three plates are moving away from each other. The fact that three plates are moving away from each other results in a whole system of rifts forming in their absence. A rift is a fault separating parts of the Earth's surface, otherwise known as a rift valley. This group of rifts is called the East African Rift System, or EARTS for short. The East African Rift Valley used to be thought of as part of a larger rift valley that extended all the way to Asia. The EARTS is a giant gash in the Earth's surface, a place close to the mantle. Plumes of lava are slowly melting the crust, causing it to rift. The East African Rift Valley is the largest tier on the planet's surface, spanning to about 6,000 miles. The oldest rift is in the far desert region of Ethiopia, but there are several other rifts branching off. There are two main branches in the system, one to the west, which hosts the African Great Lakes, where the rift is filled with water, and another parallel rift about 600 kilometers, or about 373 miles to the east. The forces underground cause parts of the crust to sink in between these two fault lines. The East African Rift Valley is truly a strange and unique place. Many things happen here that don't happen anywhere else. This area is home to many volcanoes, such as Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya. In large craters in the ground, you can even see lava burbling and bursting, melting the rock around it. This experience is an amazing phenomenon. This is plate tectonics. As the plates move further and further away from each other, the rifts will grow bigger and bigger until they separate the entire Horn of Africa, creating an ocean that separates this new continent with the rest of Africa. This system helps us understand how continents break apart, like when the Eurasian and African plates broke apart in the distant past and created the Atlantic Ocean. And that's why if you came back in the far future, you would see an entirely new planet.